Hello Beertubers and welcome to yet another video review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits and Jakob the Lord of Molds. And we're in the garage today because we're actually brewing. Uh, we're cooking up or heating up some water uh, now for our first cola mashing. brew. Yeah, for mashing for our first uh, brew. Um, this is I have brewed before but this is Jakob's first brew yeah. and uh, the cameraman Les is also helping. That's why there's three glasses here. He's also going to be tasting the beer we're going to be reviewing. Uh, this is our first beer we're going to be brewing and it's just as a test batch to try and get started and it's going to be a the procedures yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, back in there and it was one of the cheaper uh, beers we could make which is a Hefeweizen and we're going to dry hop uh, just to make it a little bit different we're going to dry hop it with the uh, Chinook uh, so that's going to be exciting but the beer we're going to be reviewing is a beer I was given or that was given to me when I was in Sweden in Gothenburg and it's the uh, uh, Opigos Drakens IP Deep D IP or, uh, well, because it means it simply means the Dragon's Double IPA, and uh, it's an eight point five percent. It was given to me by Henrik, uh, made up over there. Pretty cool guy. Thanks a lot for the beers, Henrik. Um, yeah, it's a Double IPA on eight point five percent. And uh, the thing about this beer is that it uh, is the winner of a Swedish homebrew contest. I think it was like the best brew of Sweden. And they won at least uh, Thomas Lundqvist, Rick Lundqvist, and Magnus Edelström uh, back in two thousand ten. Or won this in the Swedish Swedish. SM Swedish uh, homebrew, that's, that's a homebrew contest in Sweden, it's probably like the Mesterscapes, Swedish uh, championship. championship in yeah. brewing. And it has a double IPA and it says something like it's uh, been now been brewed in bigger scales at Opigons Poivre, so that the general public could taste it too. And along with, um, and then also that it's brewed with American hops to make a very powerful aroma and taste. So yeah, let's get it cracked open and see how it is. Uh, it's actually only a month old, so it's pretty fresh. Um, we couldn't get it here in Denmark, and him, I really wanted us uh, to review it. So here it is. It's, it's a Thank nice. You. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's a nice orange, hazy color. Yeah. Looks like a double IPA. Nice two finger white head. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. Yeah. So with orange tint. Yeah. yeah. Let's take out the aroma. Wow. But yeah, a lot of tropical fruits on it. Wow. And that's it's brewed with a uh, Nelson Sabin and Citra. And I can, Really smell the essence of it because it's got that white kind of grape aroma, but it definitely has the citra. Um, yeah, grapefruit and pineapple. Yeah, kind of peachy and citrusy. Very hoppy. Uh, but that's got some like chalky. Yeah, kind of right. but it's extreme. No, no malt. No malt. No, no. no. Grapefruit, citrus, and no pine. No, it's just like the squeezed citrus fruits there. Yeah. Orange in there too. It smells really nice. I'm ready to dig into this. Let's give it Cheers. This is apparently Sweden's best double IPA, so yeah, let's give it a taste. Oh, that's, that's pretty that's good. That's pretty good. That's really bitter too. Yeah. Um, a aggressive. Wow, I got a lot of resin on the back end. Yeah, and then there's this chalky kind of uh, medium yeah. body. Mouthfeel is dry. Um, a lot of dryness there in the flavor. Got a lot of that grapefruit and citrus. And peach too. There's actually quite a lot of peach in there. Yeah. Tropical fruit in this, um, and, and white grape from the Nelson Sabin. Yeah. Um, what do you get? Yeah, there's the chalkiness, and then you get some kind of caramel back bone to it. Yeah, I think it's the it's, malt. Yeah, there's a subtle caramel maltiness to it. Yeah. It's just extremely refreshing. You get that. Fresh squeezed uh, hop juice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Quite kind of, kind of interesting trying this. I haven't had many beers from Sweden, but apparently Sweden does know how to brew beer. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Rating wise for me, I'm actually going to have to land at a 90. This is a really good double IPA. And I would love to have tried it when it was just released. I would definitely be trying to get this. Yeah. Um, it was released in Denmark too. And you can't taste the other one. No, not at all. Oh. Almost 9%. You don't taste it. Uh, I'm letting it at a uh, 94. It's definitely worth uh, picking up and drink uh, fairly fresh. Yeah. I'd say don't drink it much older than this. Um, I haven't tried the fresh one, but I could imagine it's nice. more fresh. Yeah, and the more juicy flavor. Yeah, but uh, yeah, 94, uh, balanced, drinkable, really awesome. Good. Double IPA. So yeah, guys, that is it for the Opigos Drakens Double IPA from Sweden. Um, 
Definitely let us know what you think about it if you've had it. And definitely check it out if you were still able to get it somewhere in Sweden. I don't think so because it was apparently sold out pretty fast. But yeah, let us know and it's always room to come, subscribe, all this stuff. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another video.